same with Windows Vista, so today we're going to do just that. I have that old PC that originally ran Windows 7 and then XP, so I figure we'll just use that. If my voice sounds a little rough, it's because I've been sick for the last week, and it sucks, but I'm getting better. And you know what doesn't suck? Today's sponsor, Hostinger. Hostinger is an extremely fast, reliable web hosting service that complements its very fast speeds with a very affordable price tag. Are you looking to build a website? Maybe you have a personal business. Maybe you just want to try for fun. I've taken a fair few web dev courses myself at this point, and I can honestly say I really enjoy doing this type of thing, and I'd encourage you to give it a shot too. HTML, CSS, it's easy enough to pick up, and it can be a lot of fun. And if that's something you're into, or maybe you just need website hosting for professional reasons, Hostinger is the way to do it. Hostinger is a very easy to use service when it comes to web hosting. I even made a site just for fun, 91tech.ca. You can check it out. It's live. There's nothing really there yet, but I, I slapped it all together with Hostinger and imported it in about five minutes. It was super duper easy to get it up and running. If you use the top link in the description as well as coupon code 91tech, you can get up to 91% off yearly web hosting plans. That's a pretty killer deal for a pretty killer service. Hostinger is fast, reliable, and most importantly, affordable. Again, top link in the description and coupon code 91 tag to get up to 91% off. Big thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Just a heads up that this video gets kind of long, so if you want to skip ahead, there are timestamps in the description below. So, if you remember from my last video, we had quite a few problems. Driver issues, install issues, it was a process. But ultimately, we did get XP up and running, and in a separate video, I even tried quite a few games on it, and was surprisingly successful. All in all, I think it was a fun time, so today we're going to try to do the same thing with Windows Vista. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? How foolish I was at the start of this video but I'll come back to that. So the first thing I did was try to create a bootable USB. Now this didn't work for Windows XP, but my guess as to why was because it was Windows XP and it wasn't really made to boot off of a USB. Google searching kind of backed me up there, but regardless, uh, I created a bootable USB for Windows Vista, put it into the old computer, and attempted to install Vista and just wipe the XP drive completely. And uh, as soon as I tried to boot from the USB, it was actually starting to work. It said Windows loading files, and then it crashed. Okay, okay, not a great start, but this is the 64-bit version of Windows Vista. As far as I know, the CPU I'm running, which I'll get to in a bit here, should be capable of running 64-bit software, but maybe not. So I went and I got the 32-bit version of Vista on the USB, and we crashed again. Okay, so for some context here, this is the PC. We're looking at an AMD Athlon X3 440 processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 750 Ti. Those are the main specs anyway. Anyway, it did the job with XP, and honestly, it should easily do the job with uh, Windows Vista as well. So, not all is lost. We're going to try using a DVD. So, I made a Windows Vista boot DVD. Uh, this was my XP one. This was a CD, but it did the job. Um, and I think XP was made to boot off of a CD.
No SSD in the laptop at all. Just a normal hard drive. Got more RAM coming for it too. Gonna update to 4 gigabyte. Windows 10 Defo runs better though. And the apps are much more up to date. 